Well, actually, some of you uh, requested. I think it was yesterday. I don't know when that I show more motorhomes and I that and that I show some Thor. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Palazzo, which I believe is like the top of the line uh, in the Thor's motorhomes and uh, there's some people touring this one but let's check this one out this is a Palazzo 33.3 this uh, doesn't have the tag axle so it's not that uh, uh, long it's only 33 and this is um, I'm trying to find out here okay uh, today show price 154 but normally the the list price the MSRP will be 218 and um, let's check this one out this is very nice it's a diesel pusher of course on the freightliner uh, chassis uh, you have uh, yeah i remember when i thought this was like way cool like to have a, a workstation <laughs> and here we have it you have a, a, a full side slide on the on the driver's side sofa actually very good uh, tv placement you know uh, every manufacturers are learning that the front is not a good placement for the TV and everybody is starting to put them where they belong in front of the of the sofa this is very nice dinette very nice materials this looks like a like a Korean countertop or or similar and here we have a gas um, a propane range you know it's uh, the, your classic uh, domestic three burner I'm not even gonna open it oh these drawers are long wood they have a little bit of a give there but They're not hard solid. This is a very thin piece of wood here, but they have very nice uh, appliances like this uh, convection microwave. And here we have this one has uh, two bunk beds, so this will be great for a family, for an RVing family. And here we have the bathroom. Which, for a coach of this size, is very decent. It's very decent. I, I'm, uh, I already know, just from looking at it, that I fit in here perfectly. And it is a, a nice size. Do be careful down there with this step. It's kind of high. And uh, let's look at the bedroom. Actually, let's see. This is uh, wood-based. This is not, it's not a... A Korean countertop or anything like that. Keep that in mind because those things get wet and eventually they start to warp. I take personal experience. And then here we have the bedroom. We have a nice walk around bed. And this is a slide out right here. So keep that in mind because when this slide is in, those drawers probably become unusable. And those two yeah. and, the, and the left wardrobe, his and hers wardrobe, very nice. So and here we have a pretty long pretty pretty wow. big uh, closet space this shelf can be um, adjusted to your liking and yeah and this oh this would be looks like like a privacy door for this area we do have a residential style refrigerator in this coach whoops what did i do that not a good solution there <coughs> so it's a residential style and they use this little peg here just so it doesn't open when you hit a bump on the road okay there's the Thor uh, Palazzo let me see if uh, this one is empty now and this is uh, the Palazzo 36 Point uh, three one sixty four thousand today. Normally two thirty MSRP. And let's check this one out. This is another diesel pusher. This one has the refrigerator right here by the front. It's the same style refrigerator as the previous one, so I'm not going to uh, go into that. Of course, you have a navigation there. Oh, and check it out. You have this uh, screen. You know, this uh, uh, all these new RVers, the high end. Uh, RVs have these uh, screens, They're probably Android based or something, and that's your you, you control from there you, the, the entire coach, everything 
uh, quite start. You can even program it uh, f for the generator to start at a certain time or not to start if if it is quiet time. Here's your master switch for the lights and your climate control, the fantastic vents, all, all, all three uh, roof vents you can control from here. And then what is this? Unit must be level. Look, this is the leveling. I'm not going to touch that. And then the switch panel info. That's, you know, like your master if you want degrees in Fahrenheit or or for your floor floor plan because I, that, that's that's something that you wouldn't touch normally. So this is pretty cool. And uh, here, this is a very nice countertop. You have a little bit of space here. Of course, when everything is covered, it looks like a lot of space. But in real life, you know, you're going to have this probably uncovered and... Uh, and your kitchen if you're cooking you know same microwave as the other one here we have a nice TV and fireplace in front of these two recliners and uh, there's the dinette of course this one doesn't have a sofa and this one doesn't have uh, bunks either but this one does have a half bath here in the front again this is like a like a mica type of material it's not a ceramic and uh, the toilet is ceramic however uh, and it looks it looks very 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 nice those are probably vents for the heater and here we have this is a huge bed although it does it's I guess it's adjustable hmm another TV I wonder if there's a control for the bed these are the same controls but hmm. okay <laughs> never mind that this is the the, the 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 toilet here we have our um you know our uh, bathroom faucet and uh, what do you call it sink and let's see what the shower looks like and this is a pretty decently sized uh, shower let me walk inside uh, for your reference, I am 5'10". That feels a bit flimsy, but it's probably fine. It's a pretty nice shower. And uh, someone, it looks like someone took a shower in here because it's wet. And that's uh, probably uh, anti-freeze because we don't really feel it in Florida, but it is winter. And uh, the rest of the country is frozen solid. And... Um, this is pretty deep. It's probably some some wiring going through the back there. The wood panel is on the thin side, but this is not bad. Let's look at another four palazzo here. Of course, they have the palazzos, but they also have the Venetians. I feel like I'm in Vegas. Okay, this is the G36, but it is uh, yeah, just a 36 show price they're going up in price this uh, show price is 229 msrp 323 and let's see what 323,000 look like on this uh, thor venetian uh, diesel pusher you got a very very nice uh, cockpit here and uh, it's 9 30 and the show is already starting to get crowded but this is a little more uh, upscale you have a kind of a almost an l-shaped uh, sofa here so this is somewhere where you can lounge and it has a huge uh, sony tv this is probably like a like a 60 inch fireplace now this one has a, a this one has an induction cooktop which uh, a lot of people like this is the same uh, my, uh, convection microwave as the other unit we saw the same um, similar no this is a different one this one has a two-door whirlpool residential refrigerator which is very nice <coughs> Ooh. and uh, this one has a very large uh, shower unit here on the on the passenger side and then here we have a bed and they have the fantastic vent all the way up uh, up down off thank you very much and uh, this one does have like a Korean countertop 
which is uh, much better because uh, because as, as you know wood and water uh, don't mix and this stuff gets wet all the time and then it starts to warp and uh, trust me I know it from personal experience and here we have. this is of course the high end of the of the Thor motor uh, coaches here we have a Sony TV it's one of the real thin ones uh, you know modern technology and, and, and somebody turned on all the fans like they don't want me to have a nice production production video here and this is a closet which is very decently sized for a coach of this size of course okay let's look at another one of course I'm, I'm not gonna like I've done in the previous videos I'm not gonna get into the real specifics of of power and uh, and all the all the systems but you can find that online just Google uh, Thor uh, Venetian and uh, let's see what else we have here check out all that storage on the Venetian that's the top of the line by the way this one uh, retails for 219 but it's uh, 154 995 here at the show today there's another diesel diesel pusher another uh, floor plan and um, there you go it's very spacious although it is it, it, it some some of these feels like you have two rooms this one feels like one large uh, studio apartment and uh, very nice the couch uh, the TV however is not in the best position right here in front of the door if you know what I mean I mean it's not bad but uh, it could be better this one of course uh, has a propane range this one has the, the, just the one bathroom here with the particle board uh, countertop and this which I don't know how to open these things I'm always afraid I'm gonna break them because it is so uh, you know they don't make it obvious and uh, sometimes I'm a little clumsy I'll be honest about it hmm. you have uh, your uh, towel holders there Very cool. Well, you get the idea. Let's let's see if they have something even bigger than this. This is uh, a wind sport. This is uh, the the 34R, which makes me believe it's probably around 34 uh, feet long, and um, normally retails for 148. And this is a gas engine, so that's uh, on the high end of the gas engine. Uh, RVs is 95995 here at the show today. It's a Thor Motorsports, and it doesn't say uh, what type of engine, but I'm pretty sure it's a Ford. Let's walk inside. This is our new green This one is one finger. The first thing we did is got rid of the legs, so nothing to bang your knees on. And then, if you want a bed, you flip one lever, and it's nylon rollers on a steel plate in the wall, and then you push them to the and fill in. I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough here because as you can see the, the, someone is showing the coach so I don't wanna interrupt and then I'll, I'll look at one of the other ones yeah wood let's look at this other wind sport because uh, this one is obviously uh, kind of off limits right now they have you know you have a full side a full wall um, slide out there let's check this one out and as you enter we are here at the galley okay this is nice this is the the nice material in the galley you have a a propane uh, stove there here we have our ford it's probably one of the v10 ford you know that everybody uses this is an 82 995 today at the show 131 and somebody left here a candy wrapper 131 this is where the TV should be, obviously, right here, as you, um, you know, sit down with your significant other at night to watch TV after you have had dinner at your dinette. Of course, this, this one is a little, you know, as, as we go down in price, now, now you get the, the Norco uh, two-way or three-way refrigerator, and um, this almost feels like a 
like one of those Korean countertops, but it's not. It's wood based, and you know how I feel about those already. That's something that I started uh, looking at lately. Because uh, I'm gonna show you one of these days the one in the one in Mini Tini started to warp, and uh, eventually we're gonna have to replace that. And this is your control center here, and then this is a 200 operation. Let me. Uh, I'm just gonna put the camera right here on top of the bed and let's see how it works. There you go. And here you can have uh, some privacy in your bedroom, which is uh, always good. And this is the bedroom, his and hers uh, wardrobe. I guess that one is. Uh, is this a wardrobe? It's yeah, wardrobe closet. And. TV right here. All right, very nice. Let's continue. Okay, I'm back at this one because uh, apparently he didn't make the sale, but he was explaining to to the folks uh, everything about the, the motor coach. So I didn't want to interrupt. And here we are at the front. This is probably the 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 one that looks best on film here because it is the widest one. You we have a whole side of the coach here, which is a, a slide out, and then this whole side is another slide out. Which also means that when the slides are in, you probably have like one foot of clearance here in the on the floor to walk, but you can walk around to your bathroom. That's why they have this this curved here. This is an amount of counter space, and this is uh, of course as you saw, this is a gas uh, coach, but it's it's one of the the larger gas coaches that we've seen here. This is the bathroom. And uh, this is the Thor Windsport 34R, which uh, today at the show is uh, 95.995. It was 148 MSRP. <clears throat> we have a residential fridge, and uh, here's a. Uh, the, the living room with yet another slide out. Well, no, no, this is the, the the full length of the coach slide out. So th there are no more slide outs. So this is a big slide out. That's uh, like a, like two feet and two other feet that you gain in width in this uh, Thor. Yeah, I think he was demonstrating how to lower the bed and make it in, lower the, the dinette and make it into a bed. So that's really cool. And whoever sits in this uh, position here has a great view of the TV, as you can see. But then the person who, who sits uh, on this side, well, it's a, it's a little slanted. But still, uh, everybody can watch the TV and then uh, the, this uh, seat uh, swivels. So, um, so you can also be uh, sitting here uh, watching the TV. You, ha you have a lot of room to entertain here. and. Um, I wonder if this uh, becomes a bed as well. I would think it does. <clears throat> yep. It's starting to get hot in here. This they, they have the they have the, the heater cranked up and all this coach. Here's your your switches, regular switches, none of that uh, uh, you know iPad like situation. This is a uh, Thor 35M. So it's actually, he said that it was actually a foot longer than the one with the uh, full, full coach slide out. So I just want to check it out real quick. Uh, today is night, they, having, they have a special price here at the RV Show 94.995, but it normally retails for 144 MSRP. I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough here. Oh, this one has. I haven't seen this one because this one has the, the L-shaped uh, sofa there. Everything else is similar. You have the dinette here that also converts into the bed. And the residential fridge. Nice to be here where you should be in front of your L-shaped uh, couch. So we have these types of shades. Oh, this, you know what this is, right? Oh no, I thought it was a washer and dryer, but it's not. It's just a... Uh, a regular closet usually when they have this type of door but anyways <laughs> okay here we have the, the living room you have the controls there 
on the, you know, probably for the audio, the TV, and all that. Here you have uh, access to the. Yeah. You have USB ports. Actually, some something that I should always check, and when you look at an RV, check it because a lot of them don't have it. It would be nice nowadays to have USB ports right next to the beds, because we all fall asleep with our phones, right? And um, and you, you need to get them charged. Here's a. a <coughs> it's a pretty small sink for an RV of this size, but there you go. It is what it is. This is. Uh, you see, I don't know if you can see that it's starting to come apart, and this is brand new. So hmm. this one here is starting to come apart too. Those are things that you should check when you are looking at an RV because. If in the showroom it's like this, imagine once, you, once you've gone through two or three bumps on the road. So, you know, it's the little details. Let me, you have a pocket door here, and let me just take a look at the bathroom real quick. This is a half bath, of course, because the main bathroom is back there. So, this one has. Two bathrooms, one for your guests, one for you, and uh, we're gonna get out of here. Yeah, well, that's it for Thor Motor Coaches today. Let's go look at something else here at the Tampa RV Show. Thank you so much. If you have enjoyed traveling with us, and make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word, and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.